Hey there guys and gals, welcome back. So we are here once again, standing before the Pillar of Ice and Flame. And it's time to uh, hop back into Paragon City. So I said I thought that uh, Officer Winscott versus the Trolls was actually before these missions. I think I was wrong about that, but uh, you know, that's okay. Not a big deal. So we're going to meet with Flux the Outcast, so let's begin here. Check it. I've got a high tip today. Some of my buddies in the Outcasts are planning a raid on a warren infested with the trolls. If you can get there, you can ugh, you can put a lot of bad guys in jail. If you can't, well, the caverns around the hollows are anything but stable, and the Outcasts are hoping to bring that cave to crashing down on the trolls. Just in case their powers aren't enough, they brought along a couple of bombs to finish the job. So, naturally, we've got to stop them. This could get... This could get ugly, Black Rose of Thorns. The trolls may be on the wrong side of the law, but I don't want to see them buried alive. So, Flux the Outcast is actually a cop that is has infiltrated the Outcasts, if I remember right. So, this should be interesting. Not that I haven't played this before, granted, but, you yeah, know, hey. Got a little... Bleh, 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 bleh. I can't talk. I'm sleepy. It's late. It's um, almost two in the morning, actually. Wow, yeah, we are getting some slowdown. Yeah, I'm still fiddling with frat settings, uh, you know, compression for the videos. Uh, my first videos, I posted the first two for the uh, first story arc. Story arc, man. Winscott versus the trolls. I was not satisfied with. You know, how the compression came out on YouTube, the first 10 seconds of both videos, for whatever reason, really had a lot of video grain. It was, it was weird. Very unusual. Not really sure what was up with that, but, uh, you know, I actually use uh, Sony Vegas to, to edit the different wraps files together. And then I uh, use a program called Handbrake to try to compress it. Okay, so here's the sepia thing again. I'm thinking, after sort of looking at it, I'm, I'm thinking that this is just a, a new thing they have for flashbacks, because what I'm actually doing with the, the Ouroboros portal, where I come from and then I hop into the zone with the mission, you're actually sort of flashbacking to this point in your hero's career, because naturally, this hero's already been level 50 before and such, so... I think that's what they're going for. I think that while I wasn't playing, they probably added that, and I just didn't know about it. So it's sort of like, oh, this is a past thing. This is current. So that makes some sense. I don't think that's a bug. I think I was wrong about that. Yeah, we're getting some slowdown. I'm gonna have to have to play with this. Wow. Yeah. So I'm thinking that. Uh, or not, I'm thinking, but... So I think I put it on, uh... I put fraps to record without, uh, compressing the, the color quality this time, which before I had it, and I think that's what's causing all the slowdown. Not entirely sure. I'm also wearing headphones this time, so if I'm talking a little louder, that's the reason. Uh, I think I've got that a bit loud, too. But hey, that's something I can fix another time. So yeah, I'm thinking I might turn up the difficulty, actually, after this story arc. Uh, as of now, I, I just posted those last videos, so I don't have any comments or anything. And who knows, like, City of Heroes is not a new game by any stretch of the imagination, so maybe a bunch of people don't really care about uh, watching a Let's Play of City of Heroes, but, you know... I want to do a lot of this sort of for my own amusement anyway, because honestly, who knows how much longer this game will be around. Uh, I think, you know, probably about another two years or so is, is my guess. Uh, I don't know that NCSoft will just abandon the brand when it goes under, but uh, I do think that, uh, you know, it's, I think the game's been around for seven years now, so it's got to be nearing the end of its cycle. I mean, the game... The population has certainly fallen big time. I mean, after the... Uh, there was an expansion not too long ago called Going Rogue. And that actually brought a... You know, an influx of players back. 
but uh, since then it's dropped off again and, and pretty sharply and, and pretty quickly considering that the expansion was released you know late last year uh, 2010 and we're now early 2011 and uh, yeah the population for the servers is pretty low uh, weekends and stuff you know you still get uh, a decent amount of people it isn't like if you're playing on any of the really populated servers you'll have trouble finding people playing the game or anything. Did I already go this way? I don't think I did. I bet you I just have to disarm that other bomb and then more enemies are going to spawn where I just was. So what else? Uh, this is this is kind of a weird place because I'm jumping into these, I'm, I'm showing up the story arcs. But you know, for anyone who's looking in this, like City of Heroes, what? Let's see what this Let's Play is about. I kind of want to give them an introduction if I can to the game, but, you know, as anyone who's played a game for a long time knows, it's it's difficult to even think about where to begin to describe a game when you've played it for that long. I'm sure people who've played, like, EverQuest or, you know, even long-time, like, WoW players can relate. Um, so, yeah, I mentioned in my last videos uh, that this character is a Spines Dark Scrapper, and by that I mean... The offensive power is Spines, and the defensive or armor set is uh, Dark Armor. And, uh, yeah, so Spines focuses largely on area of effect attacks, for the most part. Ow. But, of course, uh, you know, it does some decent single target damage if you, uh, you build for crazy damage like I'm doing. Like I did, I guess. So, you know. You think these two guys would be bosses, but uh, thankfully they're just lieutenants, because if they were two bosses, that actually might have had me in a bit of trouble there. Yeah, let's use this attack. Magic Wand, go! But, uh, in Scrappers, there's different archetypes in City of Heroes to sort of determine your role in, uh, in combat, and of course on teams and such. Hmm, this... Maybe... Where's the bomb? Uh, but Scrapper is one of the roles that is basically a melee damage dealer. Uh, where the heck? Oh, okay, I missed something up here. But, uh, then there's blasters, which are, uh, long-range damage dealers. There's tanks, which, you know, self-explanatory for anyone who knows MMOs. They soak up damage and hold aggro while other, uh, team members deal out damage and control and such as that. And there's controllers, which, as the name might imply, they sort of control the battlefield. They lock down enemies. Uh, you know, they also can provide, uh, buffs for the party and stuff as well. But that primary, the... <laughs> Man, I cannot think tonight. That role primarily goes to defenders, which, uh, you know, are all about buffing party members and healing. Though, uh, in City of Heroes, in the community of City of Heroes, calling yourself a healer is kind of like a four-letter word. It's really kind of silly, if you ask me, but people will get all up in arms and be like, Ah, heals or nothing, blah, whatever. Yeah, that sepia thing has is, is got to be deliberate. But, uh, I mean, it's true that, that buffs are better than heals in, in almost every scenario in City of Heroes, uh, provided, you know, your buffs are uh, slotted well, and you know how to use them. But it's it's just kind of funny to me how people will just, like, yeah, whatever, heals, heals don't matter at all. When, yeah, that's obviously not true, uh, but there is certainly a point where heals don't help at all if you have enough buffs. Uh, so yeah, those are the archetypes. Then there's the epic archetypes. Heroes have uh, Peacebringers and Warshades, which are... They're odd. They are they can be built in very unique ways, because they have a, a ton of different powers available to them. And as an archetype, they only have one power set to choose from, unlike the other archetypes, which have tons of power sets. But they have a ton of powers in that pool. So... Like, uh, some people build all human form Warshades and Peacebringers, whereas others, uh, Peacebringers and Warshades can actually transform into, like, these weird alien squid things that can 
do good range damage. They can uh, turn themselves into a mini weird lobster thing on two legs that uh, is acts sort of like a mini tank. And uh, they have one other form too, don't they? I don't know. Anyway, uh, there are people who build for triform. There are people who build for you know just human forms, all kinds of things. And there's two villain epic archetypes, uh, widows and soldiers. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Thanks for taking care of that outcast bombing, bombing black Ugh, man. I need to go to sleep. Thanks for taking care of that outcast bombing black rose of thorns. I have to admit, I was a little worried. It's hard being deep in. Uh, deep undercover sometimes. All the lying, the dishonesty. You start to wonder whether or not you're the same person you used to be. But then you help a hero do something good for the world, and you know. You know you're exactly who you wanted to be all along. Yeah, you tell him, Flux. Alright, I've got a tip for you, Black Rose of Thorns, and it's a doozy. The outcasts have learned that the trolls are planning a raid on an abandoned office Lieutenant Winscott's been using as a base of operations. The unit is made up of trained men, Black Rose of Thorns, but they can't stand up to the trolls in a fair fight. I need you to rescue those cops from the trolls. A lot of good men's lives are on the line. So let's rescue some cops. I'm counting on you to save those men, Black Rose of Thorns. A lot of them are my friends. Alright, so let's help out Flux. We stand for truth and justice. We aren't going to let the trolls take down the cops. So, I should probably be talking a little about the enemy groups I'm fighting too, right? It's like, what? Outcasts? Trolls? What? And the trolls? You're talking about how you don't like fantasy, but there's trolls? It doesn't make any sense, right? So... The outcasts, my understanding anyway, it's been a long time since I really dealt with the outcasts a lot. I play mostly higher level content these days when I play. <clears throat> but uh, the outcasts are sort of thugs that have superpowers. I don't, I don't even remember why. But they're sort of like common thugs. Uh, the trolls are people who have gotten addicted to a drug called superindine, which when they overdose and they take too much of it and they become like big time druggies on it they end up like this good thing there's not a drug like that in real life because we'd have a lot of green people walking around so yeah uh, naturally they very often deal with, uh, with that drug when you're dealing with them but in this case just a bunch of cops in trouble so we're gonna bail them out. Five policemen to rescue. Alright. Wand to the face. Spine to the face. So, I have two powers right now for spines. The first one, lunge. It's just this. This little lunge attack. Stab to the chest. Oh, oh I didn't even see these guys. There's an officer to rescue right there. Give him a hand. Officer Yancey. You know, you're not a credit to the badge while you're quivering in the corner, dude. Yeah. Alright. Trollkin buckshot. We couldn't hold out much longer. Okay, more trolls. Boom. Okay, you know what? There might be someone in here. Okay, there's not. Let's run for it. Oh, elevator. I don't think I explore all this floor, so... Don't want to miss a hostage. Otherwise, I'll have to do what I did last video and run all over Tarnation looking for him. Okay, let's see if anybody's in here. Ah! Stuck on a bucket. No one in here. All right. How about here? No one in here. I'm really bad at the superhero thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, and this is spine burst. Boom. I've already seen me do that about a hundred times, but you know, I don't think you really need an explanation. But uh, there you go. Officer Kelly. Oh, Black Rose of Thorns. I knew you'd come. I'm kind of a new hero at this point. I'm not really expecting you to. Be looking out for me. I don't have much of a rep. Uh-oh. And uh, I just heard my timer. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, catch you in the next video.